Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to GTA 5. It is I, the incredible, majestic, glorious, magnificent Eagle Man, the official vigilante here of Los Santos, and I just got my brand new vehicle out of Los Santos Customs. Take a look at it. We got the cheetah right here. It's in a nice purple tint. So we got a cheetah, we got an eagle, we got all sorts of wildlife here in Los Santos, but today guys, I am going to be giving you a tour of my brand new residence that I have purchased with the new update for GTA 5. So we're going to go ahead and drive up the road. Let me turn off the music for copyright purposes. And let's go ahead and drive up into the Hollywood Hills where you guys can check out my brand new house. That's right, it's a house. No longer do I have like five different apartments in five different locations in the city. I finally have my own house. So let's go ahead and drive up into the hills. Man, there's a lot of traffic this morning. My goodness, let's go ahead and get over here. And we are going to check out my new place. So as you can see on the map, it's just north of where we are. So we're just going to kind of climb up here. I'm still trying to figure out the best way to get there because it's kind of hard to, to get to this spot up here in the hills because it is really just tucked up in there. There's a lot of windy roads. So it's a little bit of a struggle, but you know, I'm trying to navigate my way the best I can. I could have gotten a waypoint, but you know, I'm not that big of a noob. I can find my way around through the streets without crashing. So let's go ahead and take my brand new vehicle and store it in my garage once we get there. And then we'll give a nice little MTV Cribs tour of my new residence. I am very used to doing tours of things considering my experience from Minecraft. So this should be a piece of cake just around this corner right here up this dirt hill. And that, my house is right here. So here it is guys, cost me $800,000. I believe it was the most expensive house of the update. That's a really nice Audi right there, guy. I might have to steal that from you, but here it is, guys. It's a nice little, like, uh, you know, Adobe-style house, I guess. It's kind of like looks southwestern, but I really like it. So let's go ahead and pull on in here, park my garage, park my car in my garage, not my garage. That would be combining two words. And here we are. So uh, unfortunately, you cannot access your garage, or I guess you can't access the house from the garage on the interior. That's kind of unfortunate. And I kind of wish that they would have given me like a different garage because like it's the same garage for like this the apartment so it is what it is but here are some of my vehicles that I have this is kind of like my sports car garage I have five sports cars there and then I have a sports classic right here totally chromed out and then of course the purple cheetah so let's go actually back outside and we'll go through the front door and we'll do a little official tour of Eagle Man's new home. So I gotta admit, there's not a whole lot of space for me to walk when I come out of my garage. I don't have really a sidewalk or anything. I guess that drops the property value a little bit. I got this ugly looking gutter in here in the middle of the street, little sore cap here. That's really unfortunate, but I gotta have to do a little bit of work here. These uh, you know, municipal people gotta get on this and I'm about to get run over as you can see. I definitely need a sidewalk here. This is a real issue that needs to be resolved. But anyway, let's go on inside. As you can see, my address is 3655 Eagle Man Avenue. Let's go ahead inside. We're gonna give you guys the full tour of this place. All right, everybody. Here is the interior of my brand new house. I gotta say, it is, it's actually absolutely magnificent. I really, really like it. So let's go ahead and give the full tour. We got the kitchen right here, all of the stuff that you're gonna need. I have my wine here, which is very important. I'm just very glad that was there. Unfortunately, I have to drink my green juice, which I don't wanna have to take my mask off for that. So we'll do that later. And uh, yeah, pretty nice little kitchen. Obviously the layout in here is very modern. It's really fancy looking. It's honestly amazing. So here is the dining room table. We have a nice view from that window, but this right here is the view. Uh, obviously this is kind of like the family room, living room space, really fancy modern couches, full screen TV. And then right here we have a beautiful view of the skyline of the city. You can kind of get like little glimpses of everything. So obviously the skyline right away. I really like this building off to the left. That was actually one of the reasons why I bought this house because I like looking at that building. I think it's cool. And then you have the tinsel tower right over there, which is also appearing in Los Angeles. So that's pretty cool. And that's pretty much it for like the main floor. But this place goes down, down into the mountain. Like it's pretty cool. Like look at this. You can kind of go down like three different levels. It's honestly amazing. And right here, Look at this. This is my favorite part of the house. It's not close. We have a freaking waterfall feature. Like how awesome is that? Like that is, I would pay a million dollars just to look at that. Like that is just beautiful. And it goes all the way down to the bottom. So here is like the second level, I guess you could say. Uh, nice modern paintings here. I really like those as well. That's just adding fanciness to the place. And, and here is the bedroom. So we have obviously the bed right there, the closet. And then in here is the master bathroom, which is a fantastic bathroom. Check this out. We have the pool. Or wait, this is not a pool. We have the tub. That's what I meant to say. And we have the shower. And then, of course, if I want to take like some sort of like fancy hipster shower, I can just stand right here in my waterfall. So that's pretty cool. 
Uh, again, kind of have like a tinted window there, which is very good. I don't want anyone spying on the eagle, you know, laying his eggs, if you know what I mean. So let's go ahead and go down to the last level. I guess it's just like the third level or first level, whatever you want to say it. But again, I really love the uh, verticality of this house, of the floor plan. It's really cool. I love the modern features and these cool light bulbs hanging from the ceiling. Just beautiful stuff for Eagle Man to reminisce and, and just bask in the glory of all my ill-gotten gains. But anyway, right here we have some nice plants and water features. Again, kind of like the ending of this waterfall here. Really cool stuff. I like it a lot. Some bookshelves, some fancy schmancy sitting areas with a some sort of pilt or something like that. I'm not actually 100% sure what that is, but let's go ahead in here. And this is like the last spot. This is the heist room. So if I wanted to do any heists and get some more money, I can do them right here. Got my gaming set up where I can record some Minecraft videos, record some GTA videos, a bunch of cool stuff. So that's pretty much it for the interior design of my brand new living space. This is my new house. I think it's pretty damn cool. Again, $800,000 uh, well spent. I still have about, uh, let me check. How do I check how much money I have? There we go. I still have just under a million dollars left over. So I'm still rolling in the deep here. Uh, I still have quite a bit of money. Maybe I'll buy some new cars or something like that and fill the rest of that garage. But thank you guys very much for watching. It has been the mythical, the majestic, the magnificent Eagle Man, the official vigilante of Los Santos here in his new living quarters. Love this place. It's fantastic. Loving this new update. It's a really nice update. About time we got a cool update for GTA 5. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Peace out.